Hi, welcome. Uh, we're here with my name is James McCarthy. Uh, work with Cork GA, GDA for Cork GA. This is Cork Minor Footballer, All Ireland winner Dan Pete, who's helping me out today. We're doing 10 to 15 minutes of a PE class for 5th and 6th class. All you need is a ball and a wall and two cones. And if you don't have two cones, two socks, two, anything at all, just to mark it out. It's very simple 10 15 minutes. Basic skills, bit of movement, a uh, bit of a blowout, and you can do it more times than we're doing it. We're doing it for 20 seconds, you can do it for way more. When you go back and watch the video again, you can do it longer. Okay, so Dan is going to do a bit of warm up here for us, so off you go then. Dan is doing the solo, and he's, he's just doing uh, moving the ball between the legs, so working the left hand, right hand, and working the legs. So we're warming up the, the body and loads of coordination going on. Stay up for about 20 seconds. Okay, then take a break there. Okay, now we're back up here a small bit then. There you go again. Right, next one, yeah, this is coordination again, lads, and movement. He's punching the ball up in the air, touching the ground, left hand, right hand. Okay, warming up all the muscles, and you're getting plenty of movement. This is strengthening the muscles as well, guys. Okay, 20 seconds there, take a break again then. Okay, so you just, we do the basic soloing then. Okay, just left leg and right leg. Okay, left hand to left leg, right leg to right hand. 50 seconds. Okay, we're well done then. Just take a breather there a second now, guys. Right, now we bring in the hop then. So we'll hop at the right, solo with the left, and we'll just coordination again. Okay, everybody, guys, you want to be a good footballer. Left hand, right hand, left leg, right leg. Okay, that. Okay, we take a breather again. Okay, so everything we do here, you can do with her. Um, the hurlers that are watching today, same thing, principle. This is just, all you need is a ball. You can use a small slitter. Same thing, all the movements again. And all you need is a wall. Okay? John Crowley will be back next week doing different stuff with hurlers. Okay, so, now we worked off the wall here, guys. So, we're working on upper body here now first. So, ball over the head. And all we're doing is throwing it over our head and catching the ball over our head. For 10 times, guys, come out about three steps from your wall. Again, this is strengthening your upper body muscles, guys. And great movement and put your hand. Do 10, take a breather. And again, any coaching point here, guys, is the feet, that we keep switching our feet. Okay, because you're, you're putting your playing in a match, so you're stepping into the ball at all times. Okay, then, off you go. That's it. Look at his feet, guys. The feet are moving all the time, which is brilliant. Okay, take a breather there again. Now, you will feel this up here, which is good, guys. And again, you're catching the ball over here. All right. So here we have another one now. We are going around the corner on the hoop kick. Okay? So the hoop kick again, guys. Left hand to left leg, right hand to right leg. If you're not comfortable in this, just the movement is there, guys. Put your, keep your two hands on the ball. But whatever sport you play, guys, this will improve it. Same principle in hurling again, left and right. Okay? So just watch Dan's movement again now. Right leg. And he's moving at all times, right? Okay? Nice and handy. Five on the right and five on the left. That's good then, good stuff. Nice 
That's one. Very good. Okay. Right, the more you practice this, we're only doing five and five here. We're going to do it once more. You take a breather. Good. Quality more than quantity, guys. So concentrate. Left hand, left leg. Right hand, right leg. So you take a breather for 10, 15 seconds and you go again. Eye on the ball, eye on the wall. Okay. All right, then off you go again. Simply being hurling. Okay? Right. Here we go now. A bit of reaction work again. We're kicking the ball against the wall. We don't touch the cone. And we get our ball back. So we move our cones a bit closer to whatever distance you feel comfortable with. So this is reaction work. Ball off the wall. Don't touch the cone. Get your ball. Okay then, off we go. That's it. Using all the parts of the body again, left. Is right and left. Down touching. Five on the left, five on the right again. That's brilliant, guys. Brilliant. Okay, then last one. Very good. Okay. We'll go down here, the one around. Yeah, that's what we're going around. Okay, so this one guys is about throwing the ball against the wall with your right hand, catching, and when you catch you're turning at the same time, round the court, like you're marking a player, you pretend there's a player behind you, throw the ball, turn, and round that court, get up again, throw with the left hand, wait, round, get the ball around the other court, and set up again, okay then. Off you go. <coughs> Coaching point here, guys, is to turn. He's turning as he gets the ball. Pretending there's a man on him all the time. Again, watch his feet. One foot in front of the other. No flat feet. Not waiting for the ball. Do five on the left and five on the right. Legs to what we were doing there. This time, instead of the ball going down low, we throw it up a bit higher, maybe catch it here and you're on the turn. Okay? So the ball is going a bit higher now. Now, if you mind the windows at home, if this, this you can't do this, keep doing the same, maybe throw a low ball. Okay? So at home, you can do the low ball, the chest catch, and the high catch. So the low catch, chest catch, and the high catch. And again, the same would be in the hurling. Same principle. So this time down we do it high. And you're again, we're getting the turn. That's it. This time now he's getting off the ground and he's turning at the same time. The beat is man. That's it. You turn left, turn right, and around the corner. That's it. Okay, we'll just hold it there now because we're conscious of time. So for the last one, we're going to side to side. Okay, so we move our cones in again. And this is good for fitness as well now, guys. So you're throwing your ball, you get your ball, you're going side to side. Throw it, catch, side to side. Okay, then? And off we go. It. 
Again, you can see the movement of the feet, guys. The feet are moving all the time. So five on the left and five on the right. Good stuff. Okay. Now, you'll feel that, guys. You'll feel that in the legs. And to push yourselves, I'm going to push down here a small bit. I'm going to move it out a bit out more because he's old. Okay? So if you have the room, move it out a bit more. So now when you're getting your ball, you're pushing off that right leg. Okay, when you get the ball here, I'm pushing off the left. So you're nearly gone before the ball comes. Okay, off you go then. Last time, this is it. That's brilliant. Well done. See, it moved before the ball ever comes. Okay, that's the difference between waiting for the ball and moving with the ball. Great stuff. Three on the left and three on the right, and we're done. Two to go. One to go. That's one. Very good. Okay. Right. Okay, guys. We're here for about 10 15 minutes. You can do that way longer. You can come back and watch this video again. Okay, so thanks for tuning in. Thanks to Dan. Okay, and you see he's practicing every day. That's where, that's how you get better, guys. And there's no secret to it. It's just practice, a bit of a wall, a ball, and a couple of markers. Okay, same principle in hurling. All right, so next week we'll be doing more hurling, but the principle is the same, guys. Go out, practice, get out in the fresh air. All day. Thanks very much. We'll see you next week.